Uh, dear students, I welcome you to this video lecture. I'm your instructor, Dr. Mazullah Khan. In this short video, I'll explain my minimum expectations for the project. So there was a little bit of confusion. Let me clarify that. So your first task is actually that you have to replicate DuPont analysis for uh, agrochemicals. It's actually agrofertilizers. Uh, the DuPont analysis on page number, let me show you. This one is on page number 152. So your task is actually to replicate all those numbers. And from replication, I mean, identify those numbers either on balance sheet or uh, income statement. So for example, the first number here, is 34,632. These are non-current liabilities. So if you see in the balance sheet for the year 2019, the, the non-current liabilities are 34,631,927. And these numbers on the right side for DuPont analysis, actually they are in millions. So that's why it's 34,632. Here, the total cost is 104,484. Total sales is 121. So if I go to the next page here, and if I see net sales, as you can see, it's 121,355. It's here. For the total cost, what you could do, either you can add up all individual costs, or maybe you can do the easiest way, which is like reverse engineering. So what you do, you subtract the net profit, which is here. Let me show you. So net profit for the year is 16,871, which is here. And you subtract that number from total sales, and then you can get the total cost. So replicate all those numbers for agrochemicals first. And once you learn how to do it, please replicate those numbers for your assigned company. Uh, in that way, you can get the return on equity. The best part about DuPont analysis is that actually you can see which factor is individually contributing towards returns to equity. For example, uh, whether it's return on assets, which is mainly contributing towards return on equity, or is it uh, the owner's equity ratio, what they also call uh, the equity multiplier. Uh, you are also required to do um, trend analysis and index analysis, or in other words, uh, horizontal analysis and vertical analysis. Uh, expectation is, please use professional language, uh, editing, use uh, font size 12, a4 size or letter size paper and uh, single space. Whatever you submit me, please proofread it. Check uh, your report for spelling and any grammatical mistakes. Uh, everything is so simple. The whole purpose of this uh, project is number one, you know how to calculate uh, different ratios, how to conduct DuPont analysis, and how to conduct, let's say, vertical and horizontal analysis, or in other words, index and common size analysis. Uh, the next level of uh, calculating all these ratios is, of course, how do you interpret that? So please write a good report, uh, and let's say, assume that you are writing this report for uh, investors. Uh, as I said in uh, the project, uh, I mean the instructions, you have to um, justify all uh, your arguments. So, for example, if you are writing it for the shareholders, you do not have to come up with, let's say, something that is misleading. You have to justify each and every statement. So, let's say, for example, if you're thinking that the company is moving in the right direction in terms of, let's say, sales growth, it has to, I mean, the, the, uh, the, the, the common size analysis has to show that the sales are actually growing year by year. Uh, if you have any confusion about the project, 
uh, please uh, send me an email or maybe contact me through WhatsApp group. I wish you all the best and uh, again if you have any questions send me an email. Thank you.